I've talked before on this channel about the captivity, a time in Israel's history where God's chosen people were forcibly deported from their homes and moved to Babylon to become servants yet again. You see, at this time in Israel's history, a fragment of God's chosen people are back in Jerusalem, but there is a problem. Nehemiah 1, 1 to 3 is a dismaying report on the condition of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not in a good place, and the people are not in a good state. According to the report, its defenses are no longer optimal to keep local tormentors out. It takes the initiative of a heroic architect named Nehemiah to reconstruct the city's defenses and restore the safety of its residents. In Nehemiah 1, 4 to 11, Nehemiah prays on behalf of Jerusalem and all of his brethren abiding therein. He tells the Lord in verse 6 that he has been praying day and night. One can only imagine how many times he has pushed the plate aside, how many hours of sleep that he has lost praying. I think all of us should take an example from Nehemiah, who understands that it's important to pray and fast for loved ones that are defenseless. At the end of the chapter, verse 11 reveals that Nehemiah is the cupbearer to King Artaxerxes. It's Nehemiah who enters the throne room of the king, carrying the chalice in his hands. He tastes out of the chalice to make sure the drink is pure, and then he presents his vessel so willingly to the king. In chapter 2, the Bible says that Nehemiah doesn't have to say anything, but the king can tell that he's upset. Like Artaxerxes, God can tell when we're upset, and so can our parents. Naturally, Artaxerxes asks what the matter is, and Nehemiah explains the predicament of Jerusalem. It is here the king implores Nehemiah to make a request. Nehemiah prays, and after hearing the word of God, Nehemiah asks the king if he can go to Jerusalem so that he can reconstruct the defenses. Can I tell you today that as we boldly approach the throne of grace, that God is looking for willing vessels that have no greater desire than to be used to help the defenseless. I want you to pray about someone in your life who is being tormented. Maybe they're being tormented by Satan and his demons themselves. Pray for them directly. Now in faith, like Nehemiah, request for God to let you be the one to go and help that person. The Lord is just to let you go if you ask and if it is according to his plan for your life. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and 17 the NIV version says, Nevertheless, each person should live as a believer in whatever situation the Lord has assigned to them, just as God has called them. This is the rule I lay down in all the churches. I believe that if more of us can stand up for our friends and family like Nehemiah did and offer our bodies to Jesus Christ, our bodies, our time, and everything else, Jesus Christ can use us to reconstruct fallen cities. Thank you.